What's up guys, Yale Greenfield, aka The Live King, back here with another episode of the Poker Vlog in Los Angeles. Hope you enjoyed those pictures dining out with a couple of buddies. They are fellow poker pros. We were at Bavel, which is a very chic restaurant in the downtown district of LA. Food was great, service was impeccable. Favorite thing that we had there was the lamb neck shawarma. I would highly advise giving that a go if you're in LA and you're into that kind of thing. This morning we went to our favorite coffee shop that we've been to in LA, that's Alibi Coffee. It's in the Koreatown neighborhood of Los Angeles. Another one of my favorite spots. Gotta hit all the good spots because I am officially leaving Los Angeles after a six week stay here. Today is my last day in Los Angeles and we've come to the Bicycle Casino for some 510 No Limit action. I will be heading off to Ohio, where I'm from, to take care of some stuff. In the meantime, we're here at the bike. I wanna thank everybody for watching and joining me. It's bittersweet to be leaving LA. It's where the vlog started. I love Los Angeles, I love the weather. I have great friends here. Thank you so much for watching this opening season iteration of Six Weeks in Los Angeles. Live King will be back to update you, thank you. First vlog here at the infamous bicycle hotel and casino, home of Live at the Bike, and we find ourselves in a very lit 510-20 No Limit game. Damn, pick me. <laughs> it's a very loose table. All the comers. A European pro opens the 60 from the hijack, the button who seems like he's action over a small sample calls. We look down the small blind at Live King's absolute favorite hand, Ace King offsuit, and we kick it up to $335. The big blind shockingly cold calls, hijack calls, and button calls. All in. When we flop top top in a pot of $1,370 with 1550 behind, I feel like it's prudent to just go rip city. He's got me oh, covered, shit. right? Can you? I'm sorry. No. He's got me covered? Uh, uh. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Stop. Stop. I call. Let it go. Okay. You're gonna win, you're gonna win. I haven't been lying. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't think it works like that, but I might win. He has aces pretty much. I have this yeah. hand. We play friendly with the button, show him what he's up against, top, top. Okay. Can't run it twice here? No. No. And when the board runs with two broadways, he shows us ace five of diamonds, and we get a sweet fade. In this next hand, the same European pro from the first hand and a guy who we're gonna be dealing with up the road makes it 65 from the cutoff. We peel ace queen offsuit on the button. We decide to make it 200. Unfortunately, we get a little bit of bad news when the cold four comes in from the straddle, a relatively tight and solid player makes it 550. The cutoff decides to fold and we also fold. In this next hand, we pick up beautiful black aces under the gun one and make it 65 to go. Small blind, a European pro I've got a little bit of history with makes it 300. 800 total. 800 total. We decide to go with the four bet. We make it look like 800. And when he puts in the call, it feels like Euro punishing season. And we get what looks to be a pretty safe flop. I bet 600 into 1695. Small blind says can't give up quite yet. Gonna have to see one more. When the turn's a brick and he checks it over. Oh. All in. Not a lot of options here. 1775 behind. All in. Rip city. And he quickly folds. Things are going really well for us today. We've won two huge pots with ace king and aces, but we gotta keep these guys on their toes, keep their heads spinning, can't just wait for premiums all the time. When the European we've been tangling with makes it 60 to go from hijack, we peel seven six suited in the cutoff and make it 210 to go. 
We get a surprising cold call from the small blind and the European's gonna call as well. So we got a three-way, three-bet pot. These spots are tricky. We flop top pair and a gut shot, and I think it's quite close between check and bet. I wasn't too sure what to do here. I do decide to check back, and we're going to see a turn. The turn's a relative blank, but it does bring in a potential spade flush draw for our opponents. And when the European bets 300, I think calling is just best. Small blind likes his hand as well, and it's three ways to the river here. On the river, we've now improved our hand to a straight. Very fortunate for us, and they both check to us. So now we just really have a sizing decision. I choose $800. Small blind gets out of the way quickly, and the European hits the tank. Yeah, I'd be like, uh, maybe like okay, I'll give you three minutes. One minute back on your hand, I'll give you a 10 second countdown without a declaration. By that time, your hand will be dead. Give me 30 minute. seconds. Sorry. 30 seconds an hour. Now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Oh no, I'm so cute. Come on, man. I'm I wouldn't, so, I'm not showing, why would I ever show you no matter what? I'm, so, I'm not showing so you. Curious about this it's now. Game, you know? No, it's not. It's good for helping you figure out what I'm doing. You show us what you have and we'll tell yeah. you why you look so long. Get over there on the floor. Okay, guys, little update here. We did a pretty good grind over at Bicycle Casino, but it's my last night here in Los Angeles. So I'm going to hit another of my favorites, two casinos in one day. Traffic is light. We're gonna go from the bicycle here and we are gonna head to Hollywood Park. We are now outside of Hollywood Park. There is an LA Rams game going, so we're hoping for a little bit of trickle off from that scene, little action from the stadium try to spin it up in that 5-10 game. I'll be back with you guys, let you know how this last night in LA goes. We'll see what happens. Hollywood Park, 5-10-20. The game seems pretty lit. We've just sat and boom, pocket aces right off rip. American Airlines, numero uno. I got Nelly going through my head. It's getting hot in here. Under the gun one, a very friendly guy who we've battled with off and on. He's had the best of us since we've been in LA. Makes it 75 to go. Under the gun two puts in the call and our raise is slightly out of the screen here. It's hot, you can't see it, but we've made it 275 to go. Both guys make the call and it's another three way, three bet pot. It's a good flop for us, queen 10, three rainbow. And when they both check, I'm gonna be focused on bets on the smaller side. So I make it $360. One or two, Luke. Last call with easy. Uh, Let's do two. Two times, please. We're gonna go twice, his decision. Board one looks pretty safe. Board two, a Broadway hits. <laughs> I have two pair on the second door. Chop it up. Nice hand. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and he puts us to a test with a combo that we didn't expect to see. He announces two pair and his two pair is good on board two. And we got a chop chop here. In this next hand, the straddle's now been turned off by the table, and we look down at ace-queen offsuit in the hijack and make it $30 to go. The small blind does something pretty odd here. I noticed that he was on his phone, very distracted. He's making million-dollar home deals, and he makes it 65 to go. So I can't be too sure whether or not he saw my open or what he's thinking. The big blind cold calls the 65, and now the decision's on me, and... Ace Queen offsuit in this sequence versus these players feels like pure value. So I shoot it up to 250. It's never been one to fold to a three, man. Okay. Small blind doesn't like to fold, as he tells us. He puts in the call. Big blind calls two. And what do you know? Another three way, three bet pot here. $50. 
Flop isn't very good for us. It's Jack-4-2, two, two spades, and I think my opponents are getting a little skeptical of me, so I decide to check back. We turn top pair here on an extremely wet board. I decide to size up due to the wetness. We got two flush draws out there, and I make it 500. They both fold really quick, so another sweet pot for us. We keep building. We've been absolutely smashing in this session. We're having a lot of fun today. Went under the gun opens to $75, and we peel two tens in the hijack. We put in the call. Small blind, an extremely passive player who's pretty short stacked, about $700, makes it 200 to go. Big blind cold calls. Action. Under the gun player calls. Couldn't refuse this price if I tried. Someone's gonna win a good one. Someone's definitely gonna win. The last one I thought Wait, was a, you're the someone's yeah. gonna win a good I one. I thought guy. the last one was a good one, but See, this. I'm trying to rep that phrase, so, and so, now you're here. Someone's, a, someone's actually gonna win a good one this time, though. It's a four-way three-bet pot, and boom, middle set. I forgot that was and you who started that. Lock it up. When it checks to us, I'm gonna favor something a little under half pot. Three hundred twenty-five dollars is what I select. The three better goes into the tank pretty good and decides to put in the fold. And the big blind goes all in for $505. Under the gun decides to call. And when the action's back on us, we do not have the option to raise. We can only call. So we've got over $2,300 in the main pot. And when we get a beautiful deuce brick turn, all I'm thinking about is how I can extricate more money from the under the gun player. On. So we go Rip City $1,475. I heard him. When he goes in the tank, incredible sign for us. I'm just praying that he calls. Is two times even allowed multi-way or no? Listen, listen. You want to do it once, twice, or three times? Your vote. Do it three times. What do you want to do? Do it zero. Twice or three times. I don't care. No, 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 not three times. Yeah, you do. I don't think. No, we do what we want. Jimmy, you work for us. We don't work for you. Then let's do it three times. CS, the four eight kills CS. Okay, you can't go twice. That's what I that's what I figured. The floor comes over and rules that we can only go once and we river a full house. Big blind mucks, under the gun mucks, and what a day for us. Just incredible way to finish off this LA trip. Nice hand, girl. Thanks. Okay, guys, back here to recap our final day in LA and what a glorious day it was. The bike game was pretty good. It also had some pretty tough players in it, combinations of pros and wrecks. We did quite well there. We were in for 2,600 and out for 56.43 for a profit of 30.43 over at Hollywood Park. The final tally was in for 2,500, out for 62.96. That's a profit of $37.96 for a total profit of $68.39. That is unequivocally our best day since coming to LA. It's nice when last day of our stay in LA and things work out kind of like just like how you would plan. I've played in so many great games here in LA where couldn't get my footing, couldn't get it going, certainly wasn't getting much run good, which happens for long periods of time in this game. And sometimes this game feels so easy. It's like you show up and it's just a printing machine. And although that's rare, sometimes you do go on runs like that. I do actually think you see that from a lot of vloggers, especially in the post COVID world where games have been pretty good. We get to end LA on a high note as I come into a little bit of a break from poker, heading back to Ohio 
Ohio to take care of some personal business. Some other final thoughts as I exit LA, I did play at all the major casinos, gardens, commerce, bicycle, Hollywood Park, Hustler. They all sort of have their own vibe, but I actually really do enjoy them all. LA poker is alive and well. There are many good pros and tough, tricky fish and whales, and you gotta be on the lookout for them. They're gonna give you a hard time. There's nothing you can do about it. You gotta stay mentally strong. If you can do those things, there's certainly a lot of money to be made in these games. Meantime, please comment, smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know what you wanna know about LA Poker, what you thought about today's vlog. Really appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of this with me. I will see you guys probably back in Ohio and then Las Vegas. So can't wait to see you guys soon. Life King out.